touched, we touched the Eagles. We touched the Cowboys. We touched a little bit on the Giants, but I guess the big story for the Giants, besides the win, is um, Cheddar Plax. Yeah. Cheddar, Cheddar Plax, man. He, he's, he need a kite. He's gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He really, that he really upstate. Two years. It's about he might be out in 20 months. If he get <laughs> <laughs> good behavior. <laughs> I hope he do behave in there. Ooh, 20 years, man. 20, 20, first, 20 months. First question 20 is, 20 months. First question is, what kind of, right, what, what kind of routes he's running? Well, we already know what route. <laughs> my, I, I said on uh, for all y'all that follow me on Twitter, I, I know I got a lot of my Twitter followers following me. I said, I bet you he won't be screaming. I'm wide open to his new team. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, tell him don't go across that middle. <laughs> I think my man, uh, my, my man Joey Price, over there said uh, he go he gonna switch from a uh, wide receiver to a tight end real quick in there. <laughs> no, he might be a center in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, but honestly, man, that do y'all think that? Plexico Burr's career is over now. Do you think he can he can do two years and, and come back? I'm gonna no. say he could come back, but he's not gonna be a number one receiver how he was. You go, he go, he gonna make a team in two years. He gonna make a team. I don't believe he might make a team. He's gonna be 34. Then yeah, he gonna make a team. He he's not Michael Vick. Michael Vick coming back at the age of 30. But he Michael Vick coming back at the age of 30. But he also being a quarterback without no quarterback. He's a quarterback. You know how much that is. You know what? You know how much he missed in two That's three my years. Quarterback. <laughs> True. But a wide receiver, he got to look at the playbook, learn a route. That's it. But he might have lost some of his speed by then. And he's 30, still tall. He's still a freak, though, He, man. he is. He still can catch. He, he, he is He probably a freak. got somebody in there throwing them cheat sheets all, across the middle. I don't, think, <laughs> I don't believe he should be in there. I believe he just had a real bad lawyer. Ooh, go ahead and speak go. on that. Speak can on we that. go? Right. Can, I, hold on, can I get the call sign real quick? We're, we're live on, on www.votaradio.com. If y'all want to chime in, because we're about to get into this Plexico thing. Feel free, give us a call, 267-639-3613. That's 267-639-3613. E, tell him, tell him why you don't think he should be in there. Right. Tell him why you mad, son. First of all, I would really be mad if I'm a Giants fan. Mm-hmm. But if I'm Plexico, if I would go out and get Stallworth lawyer. There's no way that, all right, I was dead. I was in a, I was in a wrong because I had a gun on me. But I shot myself. You're giving me two years for shooting myself. So you basically just give me two years for, for stupidity, basically. But not only that, it was my first offense. I think we should just castrate all stupid people. Instead of, you know, just don't let them breathe. That's, that's all. Yeah, that's exactly. Mm-hmm. And plus, they offered them a year. So they said, you know what? We're taking a year or what? We're taking a year off the table. Now, we, we try and give you the max. And he wound up pleading to two years when they already offered them a year. His lawyer had his lawyer should be disbarred. All right. My thing is, if you was in a nightclub and you shot yourself without no without no registration, name, you're getting five years. I, He's I, lucky he getting two. Honestly, I'm really probably really not with my first offense. I pro- I'm, it's a chance I might get a couple, like three to six months so you forget, in probation. It's, it's New York, man. New York. It is, is not New only York. New York. Oh, Philly, yo, unregistered they, gun. In yo, New York. Un- unregistered gun in Philadelphia is strict now. They're not playing. No, it I, is. But, but I don't think they have the mandatory minimum that New York City had. No, we got. Five years. No, but drugs and a gun. You gotta have the drugs and a I'm gun. I'm sure he had drugs. If you got if you got a, a handgun and some sweatpants, you got true. some drugs. But, you. <laughs> that, that goes hand in hand. No, but true, but the thing is they, I don't believe they found any drugs. They found the gun. <laughs> yeah. But that whole situation was just crazy. Like, I mean, from him trying to turn himself into the uh to the hospital under a fake name. Yeah. Like he didn't just win the Super Bowl in that city. <laughs> like they weren't gonna know who he was and this whole situation. He got the doctors in trouble. And I don't know if y'all realize, it was almost like he was trying to blame the um the club. Like, well, they knew I had it in there. Yeah. You know, but they didn't know you were going to shoot yourself but with it. Like, honestly, I think everybody in the NFL should go to a go to a self-defense class, learn how to use a pistol because they are marks. Like, when you go to a nightclub, you can't, just because you're an NFL player, that don't mean your life has to stop. I mean, just because I got money now, I can't enjoy it. What's the point of having it? So my thing is, I think all of them should be licensed True. to carry. I think, I say, criminal, or, criminal, or, at least, no or at least have a, a a bodyguard that's with them at all times. That's my thing. You you if when you go out, you have a bodyguard. I'm not saying you, the bodyguard has to live with you. Be yeah. all, like, and, and you know, we do have the case of Sean Taylor where he got killed in his own house. Yeah. So you know, people are marks. But I think when you go out somewhere like that. I don't think you're any less of a man if you're a millionaire to have a bodyguard. Hell True, no. no, but I you look like a boss with a after bodyguard. After all these as all these things that happened, I found out, or I, at least I heard one. I heard somebody say 
that the NFL offers security to you. And I don't just turn it down. But I, I agree with you with the – they should be able to carry a weapon and be licensed. NBA and NFL got that hip-hop type. Mm-hmm. So they, they, got, they feel as though if they have a bodyguard, they're, they're, they're punks. True. Like, I mean, I rather shoot. They do shoot. feel that way. Yeah, I rather shoot. Now, me, myself, I, give me a big Samo- Samoan. But I bet, you, I bet you at least 60% of the white – Players, they really don't go out. I bet you say, they're all licensed. They are. With, with, Most with, of them with probably pistols. Are. But all right, my thing they know is, how to use them. I'm, another thing that, that's my thing, they wanted to make him the poster boy. Like, are we going to make an example out of you? I just want to, I just want to shoot. Well, like I said, I just want to shoot bowl in this city. You know, I'm not really out here doing anything besides shooting myself. <laughs> and that, that's the crazy thing about the whole situation is Mike Vick did what, 18 months? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dante Stallworth, 24 days. Mm-hmm. Mike Vick killed dogs. You know, and we had we've had this debate before whether or not he should have been doing even eighteen months, but whatever he did eighteen months, yeah. he killed some dogs eighteen months. Dante Starworth drunk, a uh-huh. little, little bit of weed in the system, yeah. little, little little bit. He got he got dreads though, you know I, the dreads keep no, that in there. He didn't in hell. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, killed a man, twenty four days. Plexico yeah. Burr shot himself in the thigh, two years. I mean, it was the gun. It was the gun. Now, I would agree with the two years if he if he made second shot somebody. Nigga, two years, that's it? Of course he should get more. (laughs) (laughs) No, but the thing, you were talking about um, people being licensed uh, to carry and and hold guns. Me personally, you know, don't nobody try to rob me after the the show or nothing, but I don't really believe in carrying a gun or having a gun on me because I know that, you know, you're more likely to shoot yourself or shoot somebody that you know that you're close to than you are to shoot somebody that's attacking you with the gun yeah. like it, it's a fact like you look at statistics they show that you're more likely so i don't know if if everybody's licensed to carry everybody has guns if they're not just going to be more cheddar plexicles out now, there instead I, I don't know how it is in new york but in philadelphia he wouldn't have been even if he was licensed he wouldn't have been able to bring that gun into the club you're yeah. not supposed to have no, a gun exactly. and liquor it just don't mix. even no but even if he's not drinking he can't he wouldn't be able to have it only around like in a public place around that many and, people. In a bar. Yeah. You can't be in a bar with a gun. Uh, that's just the rule. 